The minister said the implementation of DTT will allow the national broadcaster to increase coverage and local content on radio and television while also carrying out its mandate of informing, educating and entertaining the nation. The expected output would be the conversion of the analog transmitters to the digital ones which would expand and diversify TV channels and local languages and content which will enable the broadcaster to establish more local TV languages and the impact would be a 100% radio and TV coverage in remote and rural areas as soon as possible, not in 2050. Tuea explained that with the increased channels, the broadcaster also aims to now the information gap through the introduction of more TV programs and activities. Other state-funded media houses, including the New Era and the Namzim Project, receive $13 million each, while the Namibian Press Agency has been allocated $20 million for the 2015-2016 financial year. In our efforts to bridge information gap in our society, the ministry will ensure that the programs and activities up to the constituency level are highlighted and stories from the grassroots level must and will have to be told and shared in order to inspire each other as a nation as we are marching together, as the president called it, Harambe, on our road to prosperity. The ICT minister further highlighted various laws and policies to be reviewed during this year, such as the drafting and tabling of the Access to Information Bill and the review of the government information policy and communication strategy and the development of government social media policy. Salmi Hangula, NBC News, Parliament.